Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog and Snack Time with Schnell. Today, I would like to... I'm sorry. I should have checked this order first, but I wanted to go over not only some killer savage death metal, but these new Wendy's spicy potatoes. I legit have not eaten in over a day, but we're going to be blasting and going over, thanks to Caligari Records, Descriptor, and I forgot the cover has the words backwards. Uh, we have Curse of the Excreted, four tracks of just straightforward, gnarly, barbaric death metal done according to the write-up the ancient way and yeah this is some trend free just straight up death metal for fans of just savage evil sounding death metal you have sadistic incineration anthro Anthro, oh my god, I can't say that word anymore? No! Oh no! Anthropophagic corpse. I said it. Enraptured in chance and curse of the excreted. Now, this is a two piece. We have PA on vote kills and battery, and ES on strings and subsonic necromancy. And I love the artwork here. I cannot pronounce the art artist's name though. It's uh, like Roho Halsmu. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. But Caligari has just been on fire this year. And I've just been throwing this on, like off and on. And it just gets better and better and better with each lesson. Because I keep hearing, like, new shit. And it's just... The type of death metal, like... When it comes to, like... I'm pretty picky sometimes. And I just don't want, like, just straight up brutal death metal. I respect shit where it's like... Whoa, like, this kind of has, like, some dead congregation vibes. But, like, also... Imagine if early incantation played a little bit faster, but, like, I'm not talking. I'm, I'm not talking, like, Funeral Barum. I'm talking, like, although, I, I mean, there are, there's some similarities, but I would say Descriptor just legitimately play death metal. For fans of evil and I hate to say this but true death metal like this is just straight up to me a giant you know fuck off to everything that's like going on with what's popular in death metal now, I know a lot of death metal heads that you know luckily have shit, you know, like Sequestrium and Morgue Breath and just like real filthy stuff. And like Caligari's just been killing it with like Grotesqueries, Descriptor. Um, oh my god, why? Wow. See, I'm gonna draw a blank, but there's just been a lot of killer shit, but. I'm really, like I said, looking forward to the hemorrhoid full length. Mm. I'm sorry, I wanted to eat one hot. But I meant to say Chronos Compulsion. The Chronos Compulsion full length is also on Caligari. Mr. Brown knows what he's doing when it comes to to signing amazing bands. He has such an awesome ear for fucking music. 
I'm sorry, I just moved some shit around. And I know I put both. Here they are. I was gonna say, I know I put both Chronos Compulsion tapes together. Cursed and Decaying and uh, Malicious uh, Regression. So good. Now, a little bit more Death Doomy than Descriptor. Descriptor just. It's straight up death metal, right for the fucking jugular. Guitar solos and all this shit rules. Just like these seasoned potatoes from Wendy's. And Wendy's is not giving me money. These are not free. But having some family stuff going on. So like my mom's been going to the hospital to see her sister and stuff. It, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it now, but she dropped some food off, thankfully. And, uh, yeah, these are delicious. Like, I honestly, like, I've had these before, but I've been wanting to go over them. I know you folks have not seen the French Toast video yet? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. So I, I had recorded a bunch of videos in advance, and now I'm, like, ahead of myself. So the schedule's all weird, but I have, like, room to move videos around. But, I'll put it this way. I bought, well, I asked for some fresh French Toast for today's video, so... I liked it enough to buy it three times now, so fucking hey, but this Wendy's, I know none of you are watching, but you should make these available alongside your regular French fries. You would make a fortune. These are way better than your regular French fries. And, like, I know this style of French fry, and I know they're not even called French fries, seasoned potatoes. They kind of taste like a less spicy Popeye's French fry. Yeah. Remember when KFC used to have those potato wedges? I mean, they might still have them. That's what these... Pretty much, that's what these are. These are KFC potato wedges, but made by a Coca-Cola bearing company, while KFC is owned by Pepsi. We're a Coca-Cola channel, but I'm trying to get out of soda. So if anybody from Liquid Death is watching this, seriously, all I need is two 24-packs, and I know for a fact I can quit drinking soda. Just as long as I have, like, like, I love that Mountain Spring water so much, like, I could have it with, I, and I know it's just water. I understand. It's just water in a can. But there's something about that mountain spring. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like I don't need, like, a carbonized beverage to go with my meal. I feel like I can just have that water and be content. And I know that sounds really stupid, but it's like a mental thing. Like, having the can... I get why that company's so popular in bars. Like, barely anyone drinks anymore. They understand it just destroys your body and fucking sucks. So, I think it's awesome in bars. Like, you can hold one of those and it feels like you're holding a beer and you don't feel like a dipshit. Hey, can I have a cup of water? And, like, the dude at the bar's all, like, mad and points you to the jug of water that you probably spit in 
But it is what it is. But there's something also about breakfast and death metal. It's a great combination. But how do the Wendy's Seasons Potatoes pack stack up compared to Curse of the Excreted by Descriptor? Well, I love that this clocks in at around 10 minutes. Four tracks, just enough to get your rocks off. Awesome recording by Caligari Records. I just noticed, too, that Dark Descent just did, like, a reissue of that Human Corpse Abuse release. I don't know if there's a difference, though, aside from the artwork color. So, I, I don't know. I probably should look into that because this was, like, I fuck Again, I don't remember what, was this last year? Hold on, I'm sorry. Just give me one second. Now, 2022. All right, I guess one of my favorite releases of last year. But, like, I saw that Dark Descent just, like, reissued the tape, but I just don't know if it's the same release. So, we'll find out. But I'm pretty sure it is. Like, I'm almost 99% positive. But I don't want to give you folks the wrong information. And I'm sorry, though, but these are... Look at it. Look, they're nice, fresh, and soft. I have to just. Oh my. All right. That was 100% better than last time because I could actually take a bite out of it and not be in eternal pain because last time I still had like the stitches I think but seriously why do you not serve these all day Wendy's tighten the fuck up this is legit like delicious so it's as delicious as Descriptor is fucking heavy. And I really love, like, when bands proclaim, like, death metal done in the way of the ancients, like, Stress Angel, uh, Superstition. I don't know if you folks know Bloodlust. But Bloodlust is a great example. I'm sure there's like 80 bands named Bloodlust, but it's this one. I don't know if they still exist. I, I know they did like a tour with Superstition. My friend, I think Tyson sent me this tape a long time ago. But it's, it's such a good demo. It's one of those demos like... I, I honestly, like, I throw it on every once in a while, and I'm like, dude, this is fucking good. Like, I, and I, I always forget to look, like, back into the band and see if they ever did anything else, because I always really like this demo. And I'm going to actually move it to some place where I can listen to it a little bit easier. Alright, I'll just put it there. But... I'm not doing today's video about the Wendy's French Toast, as I already did that video. Today's about Descriptor and Curse of the Excreted and Wendy's Seasoned Potatoes. And on the Wendy's Seasoned Potatoes side, you supply the meat and potatoes death metal that Descriptor bring to the table. On curse, yeah, I'm gonna shorten the title because th th this deserves it's it's a, such a badass EP. I'm gonna just initial the EP and just call it curse.
Although it's cursed to be excreted right now, it's just cursed. But look at that cover art. It's so fucking good. I, I, I love it so much. And the fact that this is a duo just boggles my mind because it's so fucking good. And it was recorded, mixed, and mastered by a descriptor. Turned out sounding amazing. Thank you to Caligari Records for making today's review possible. I like their logo too. It kind of looks like the Mysticum logo, but not really. The only reason I'm saying that, it has like that thing up top. I don't know. That was like the first thing that popped in my head when I saw it. I was like, whoa, that like, kind of looks like uh, Mysticum. But this is honestly like just way sicker, in my opinion. Definitely, if you're a fan of straight up death metal, there's no breakdowns. It's just cutthroat, evil sounding fucking death metal. If that's up your alley, then curse. Of the excreted is as delicious sounding as these seasoned potatoes are actually delicious. <laughs> Sorry. Wendy's breakfast for the win. Caligari's death metal roster right now is ridiculous check out descriptor curse of the excreted i think this is limited to 200 cassettes go support caligari and grab yourself one this is totally worth it because i also know at least that of a couple weeks ago they had a bundle a chronos compulsion bundle you got both tapes together so, I would make an order, if you're going to, I would try and get the Caligari, uh, order from Caligari and get the Kronos Compulsion bundle, and also grab this, and then you saved yourself some money and stuff. See? You gotta, you gotta think sometimes. But... Fuck yeah, on both sides here. Both pretty, like I said, goddamn good. I really like this descriptor, though. And I really like these potatoes, and that's the thing. I'm going to be going back to both of these as soon as this video is over. So, hails to Descriptor and Caligari Records. And hails to Wendy's for finally bringing breakfast to the East Coast. When I was in Arizona in two, 2002, I swear we went to a Wendy's that had breakfast. But I digress. Thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Check out this month's contest. Uh, I think I posted the video yesterday. Again, it depends on where I post today's video. Thanks for watching this double header. I tried to keep it as no pun intended. To the meat and potatoes as possible. And just a fuck yeah on both here. Descriptor, seasoned potatoes. What a heavy, awesome mix. Getting my carbs in. Fuck yeah. Thanks for watching again, you fucking rule. Hails.